don't be a doctor, be a human being, being, be, be heartfelt. So speaking on the innovation side of it and the AI side of it, do you think that AI could eventually become, let's say like the standard of care for verifying decisions and treatment recommendations in the future as it relates to malpractice? It's an amazing question. Why? Because first we have to define standard of care. That's usually a question in deposition. What is the standard of care? So there's no exact one definition that's standard and usual and customary in any nomenclature anywhere that says what the standard of care is. So the basic feeling of this when I'm asked is what, what a typical dentist, a similar dentist in a similar town or city that, was, that that dentist was in would do on a similar patient with similar problems. Right. Mm. So that's kind of the standard. It's a very vague or loose term uh, definition. Mm -hmm. So what I would recommend is that everybody adopts a higher standard than the usual and customary. My saying is the usual and customary stinks, right? Who wants to be usual and customary? So, so yeah, to, to your point, you, you want to set your own standards. If you have this tool and the tool will keep you out of malpractice and malpractice, I'm not talking in the legal arena. I'm saying bad practice with your patient. What if your, your, your loving spouse in the chair? What if it's your child who you love is in the chair? Do you not want to avail yourself of all the information of every possible consequence that could arise that you may have a question about? and have that as the benefit. But to your point, now you have documentation that substantiates your behavior. And that's the whole purpose of the dental record is to substantiate your behavior and what you did and why you did it so that you, Einstein said, a short pencil is better than a long memory, right? But if you didn't write it down, didn't happen. That's what the attorneys will tell you, right? So yes, I agree with you. It is my personal opinion is that it is the standard of care because it's available. It's readily available now. 